In this webcast, we begin our study of reactivity. So far, we've just looked at internal changes that occur within a molecule, such as a ring flip and a cyclohexane chair conformation, or a rotation about a bond. But now we're going to discuss reactivity. In our study of reactivity, we will concern ourselves with elementary steps of reactions. And the first thing we're going to do in this webcast is define what are our players, who are the, the players in our reactions. Two of our major players in our reactions are going to be our nucleophile and our electrophile. The nucleophile is so named because it's something uh, that loves a nucleus. Nucleo, nucleus, and phile, phil, means love. So the nucleophile wants to get a nucleus. An electrophile is our other player in reactions, and it loves electrons. It's generally going to be something that doesn't have too many electrons around it. In all of our reactions, we're going to have a nucleophile attack an electrophile. This nucleophile is going to be the homo of our reactions, our highest occupied molecular orbital, and it's going to attack the lumo of our electrophile, that empty orbital, or perhaps that low-lying sigma star, or potentially pi star orbital. And as they combine, this nucleophile and electrophile combine to form this final nucleophile-electrophile bond here. Notice our single-headed reaction arrow shown here, which shows that a reaction has occurred between two reactants to form our product. Some things to take note of every step of our reactions. First of all, the, the overall charge does not change from one side of the reaction arrow to the other. The overall charge that we start with, a negative charge in our nucleophile and a positive charge in our electrophile, giving a net charge of zero on that side of the reaction. We also see that in our final nucleophile-electrophile bond shown here. We, our net charge has remained the same. Our stoichiometry has also remained the same, where we have the NU and E shown on the reactant side of our reaction, and then an NU and E on our product side of the reaction. Now we can generally show this, uh, this nucleophile attacking the electrophile by our curved arrow notation. We saw a curved arrow notation when we uh, talked about resonance structures, and this same process is going to, make, is going to occur when we draw our reactions, where we take our lone pair on our nucleophile, this is our N in this case, and it's going to have our arrow come over and form a bond with our electrophile, our E+. And this movement of electrons shows this reaction that has occurred. So this is just a general form of reaction mechanisms, nucleophile attacking an electrophile, and we'll get more in, into more details of this over the rest of the semester and also in our following webcasts.